Hello YouTuber, welcome back. As you can see earlier, I did a close up of the Tokarev pistol we have on the table. These are all Tokarev pistol. We have an M70A, which fires a 9mm cartridge. We have the TTC, which is a TT Sugi, Romania. 8 round magazine. And then we have an M57 Zastava, just like the one we reviewed the other day. These are all Tokarev pistol family, and this one is a disassembled TTC of the same class and very similar to this one. There are a couple of variants, but they are the same model specifically. So let me know which one you like to deep dive into. Post, please comment, and if you like what we're doing, subscribe. I'm not an expert, however, I just want to have the opportunity to have those ones borrowed from a friend of mine who is a bigger collector than me, and we want to showcase the little variance and difference between all those pistols. So, the TTC is a revised version of the model TT30, which is a, a pistol that the Russian originally created, but this, again, this one, we have a different flavor. We have a Polish pistol, I'm sorry, the Romanian pistol, we have a Polish one, and then we have the, this one, which is a Stava Serbian. So they're basically the same class Tokarev, but different, manufactured by different countries. The TTC has an eight round magazine, which is a little shorter than the magazine from the Zastava. If you can see the difference, it's just a little shorter magazine. And same here, this is the Zastava, the one we, we reviewed. But this one is not mine, this is the friend of mine. These are all his guns, his pistols on the table. So let me put it, this one back in, and then we can continue the video. So, but before I do actually, let me show you the inner component. Of course, barrel, they are very similar. This, as I mentioned on my other video, this reminds me of a 1911. So it's a Russian, Eastern Soviet bloc version of a 1911 with some browning actions built inside. So <clears throat> Put this thing together real quick. Again, uh, part of, for me, part of owning those firearms is learning about them, knowing how to fill strip them, knowing how to definitely clean and maintain them so that you can have a reliable functioning firearm. Whether you go to the range or not, whether you shoot a lot or not, it's always good to know how the firearm is put together so you can take it apart and service it to, at least to maintain and clean it. But I'm not a gunsmith or an armor, oops. But you want to make sure you know how to take care of it, just like a vehicle, just like anything else. Doing your maintenance and taking care of the farm is essential. Okay, I figured this out. I didn't want to do the magic trick where I just show you the, the farm already reassembled because I personally don't like when I see that sometimes if I'm struggling with something and someone skips to the end where it's all assembled. But I took time to look at what I'm doing wrong. So this little cap, 
only goes one way, so I put it in the spring. Instead of pre sliding in, I put it in the spring. I simply slide it back inside gently. Slide it inside, then I make sure this retention is open up, and then I'm pushing. And I do have to keep retaining this clip because it will spring back up. So I keep holding it. As you can see, it's correctly flushed on the front. I'm just keeping retention. Take the barrel and insert the slide, of course. I'm realigning these two holes and pins for the slide catch to go in and then I slide some more to get to the back and I let it go forward and I reinsert the clip there you go Okay, give me a little bit of help, but sliding this pin. So, function check. Always make sure it's operating as expected. Again, this is unloading. So, you have a shorter magazine compared to the Zastava. So, what I was trying to say earlier is this model is a TTC. Let me clean this up a little bit. Polish TTC which is also standing for Model TT Sugir. And then you have the exact same gun here, similar gun. They both have the same safety, safety switch. This one has a, um, a safety on the grip, near the grip. The safety was not originally installed on the gun. However, they had to install them for importation purpose. The US had to install the safety switch on the pistol that were imported in the United States. So you will have a safety in the trigger, which this one has, if you see the little action here. You had some that had a safety in the slide, like this one, which is the Model 70 slide safety. And then you had these ones with the safety right here. These two are the same model, TT Sugir, so they're both from Romania. However, if you look carefully, I found the diff there are differences on the slide serration. Hopefully you can see this. So, this slide serration is different. This one is more several lines that are thinner. This one has a different pattern, as curvier. Still easier to grip. I think these are better to grip. They feel a little sharper. They won't cut you, but I, I like these better in terms of gripping. Uh, but the safety switch is the same, different serration, and observing this one, assuming I'm not making a mistake, this one says it has a model number, it's a, I'm sorry, it has a serial number and it said 1953, and this one, which I found very interesting, on top says 1952. So again, these are not mine, these are a friend of mine, but he, he managed to have two consecutive years, which I think is pretty cool. So 1952 here, 1953 here. And you can see there are several little difference also on the grips. Some of them have the star. Some of them don't have the star. So you can, the, the far may look similar, but I love looking at things in close, closely and making comparison because there's always a little bit of element of difference between them. Um, Again, these are eight round magazines. You usually don't have to have, you don't want to have loaded magazine near firearms, especially when you're training or dry fire or practicing. But just to kind of show you real quick on the side, this is a magazine, eight round capacity. Again, if you remember from the video, this is the T762 by 25. I like this caliber, it's, it's, it's flat shooting mint, which means when I shoot it, or when you shoot it, it just goes. The recoil is not that bad, and it, I just like the sound it makes and the way the gun feels. Uh, it's hard to explain, but for those who shoot, 
you know, it's, it feels like it's unreal. Uh, again, TTC Sugiya. So, um, the other similar brother is the M57, which is the same class, same style, I build, you know, with some variants. So, let me know which one you would like to take a look at, if you care. If not, and do that through the comments. Comments whether or not you want to do a deep dive on the TTC, the M57, or the M70A. This is definitely the more modern version. It's got some line serration on top. It fires a nine millimeter round, uh, slight safety. Again, similar to, it, they really remind me of 1911, especially this one more so. Although this switch is a little bit more position. Um, so for now we borrow this. We have enough, we have, what four farms to compare this one looks just like the one i have but it's not this is not mine two two tcs one m57 and 170 uh, an m78 look in the comments please if you like the video subscribe post a comment like it sign up for notification i'm going to try to be consistent i'm going to try to showcase every other friday if i can or at least a couple of times a month or more the firearm in details, comparing and as much history I can document, I can gather on the gun. I ordered a couple of books. Once I get them and I read about them, I probably have more facts. Uh, and then I'll try to go to the range and shoot them as well. I have a small collection, so we'll probably do a small review of what the choices are. And hopefully through the comments, I would like to make this a little more interactive so people can vote and decide on which one they would like to see. Um, so for now, let me know between the M70, the TTCs, or the M57, which one you would like to take a look at in more details. We'll go from there. Post a comment. Let me know how to improve this video. I'm trying to give some kind of diversion, you know, distraction during the quarantine and COVID-19, and hopefully we'll get this going forward. Thank you.